Well, let's take a very quick and introductory look at GardenCAD low-cost CAD software. If after you've installed the program, you go File and New, you'll be presented with some templates. You should select the template Metric 01 if you're using the metric version of GardenCAD um, or cancel from there. You'll come into this screen here. There's a little line being drawn here and if I right click and click on properties you can see if we stretch that down a little its length is 10,000 units so it's 10 meters in length. I'll close that for now. So this template is just a, a way of helping you get started with the design relatively quickly and easily. On the right hand side over here are some symbols and that can be dragged into position. But let's say you were setting up a new site. You might go draw line. You might have started, say, at the corner of a house. And we go click and move in the direction you want to go in. But come down and turn polar on. That will, of course, force the or enable you to draw horizontally across. And at the moment, the cursor is positioned at three and a half meters. So let's go 3,500 and hit enter. That line's been drawn accurately. Then we can come down here, maybe 2050, um, sorry, 2050, and hit enter. Down we come, we might come across here, 4,200. These measurements that I'm putting in would be determined by your mud map. Whoops, that's clearly wrong. Let's delete that one. Right click and start our line command. So it's draw line. I'm going to jump to the end point by coming way over here and say I want to jump to the end point there and I think we said 4200 then hit enter. That's rather more sensible. So that might represent the footprint of a house. You might select all of those by doing what's called a crossing window and then we'll join those and then we could use modify and offset and pick that boundary of all footprint of the house and say hit enter and specify a distance so you might have a 900 millimeter offset and then we're asked to pick the side so there we are there's the I'll escape from there there's, that could represent a footpath running uh, around the back of a house. So now you have to think about your landscape design. So you can just drag various things into position. And let's pick this and we'll delete the line and meters. And we can bring any part of this design into position. We could, if we want to pick it all, we could move it all and position it like so. So let's imagine that we look what I'm looking for by hovering around is how how are we going to enter this site? Here's a natural entry point. So I think I'd be inclined to move that scale bar out of the way. And then I'd probably and do the same for so I'm just picking and then moving it. I move the that indicator. And now let's grab all of those and we'll say we'll rotate about say the midpoint there and we want to bring the entrance like so and I'll just click so now we're in a position to say well um, we don't know anything about the house here but we could now plan on taking that little symbol there and copying that uh, from the mid up to there and there now we have quite a nice entrance there. We might want to copy this symbol here and pop it there. So can you see we're building up a little design um, for the rear of quite a small sort of courtyard area. And we can present that in any way we like, but any inquiry of this design will give us back dimensions that mean something if we wanted to know roughly the diameter of the lawn we can just click there and go across there so we're going to have a, a lawn that's about four and a half meters in diameter 
a little circular one there and be able to come out here, sit on uh, a bench along there and look at some paving. So I hope that gives you a little introduction to GardenCAD.